Hey, good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. It's Wednesday, and I get to talk to you about the signs of the end, uh, which is kind of crazy because uh, the world's crazy right now. Have you noticed that? I mean, there's so much division and anger, and, and there's all kinds of prophetic voices out there telling us what's happening and how it relates to the end, and people who are, you know, uh, posting all the time on social media that Jesus is coming soon and everything. Uh, and uh, here's the question I have for you. Do you, do you believe them? Do you, are you paying attention to those more closely? Because if so, I want to speak to you about some of the things that Jesus actually said. First of all, a couple of truths that kind of frame this. First of all, there's no doubt about it that we are closer to the end than ever before. Uh, you know, Jesus said the end's coming and, it's gonna, and he talks about it, but we're closer to that day than ever before. Every single day we get up and Jesus hasn't come back, we're closer to the end than anyone's ever been. So just know that. We're moving in that direction. And secondly, I want you to know I'm ready for Jesus' return. Uh, absolutely and completely, and I hope you're ready for his return as well. Uh, so here's some things that I want to share with you out of Mark chapter 13. Uh, Jesus says, beginning of verse 24, but in those days... He's talking about the end. In those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. Okay, first thing I want you to know is that when Jesus returns, everybody's going to know it. Everybody's going to know. It's going to be visible to the world. I don't know how Jesus is going to return and everybody's going to know it in the world, uh, but it's going to happen. Because when Jesus comes back, everything that is right now is going to be changed. It's not going to be modified. It's not going to be tweaked. It's going to be radically and completely upended, and it's all going to be new. Nothing is going to be the same. So if somebody says uh, it's a secret return, they're wrong. It's clearly going to be a visible, physical return of Jesus to this world to conclude this chapter of history as we know it. Um, the second thing I want you to know is that we don't know when Jesus is coming. We don't know when Jesus is coming. He's so clear about this. Uh, listen to what he says in verses 32 and 33. But concerning that day or that hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. So be on guard, keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. Now, I don't know if Jesus can be any clearer than that, but he's basically saying, um, if somebody tells you they know when Jesus is coming back, they're wrong. Because you don't know. The angels don't know. And at that time when Jesus was on the earth, he's saying, I don't even know. When, when he ascended to heaven in Acts 1, he told them, it's none of your business to know. But what he did tell us is that we need to be ready to be ready for Jesus' return. So the, the being ready begins by decide to follow Jesus. If you've never made that decision to, to confess Jesus as Lord, understand what the, the Apostle Paul said. He said, if, if we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. If you haven't gotten there, then you're not ready. If you've made that confession of faith in Jesus Christ, then you're ready. And then be ready by actually following Jesus. So a decision to follow Jesus is great, but actually follow Jesus. Be ready by being obedient. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. Serve God by serving people in his name. Be generous. I mean, everything you have, God gave to you, so give it away freely and joyfully. Worship with all your heart. Uh, just celebrate the fact that God has saved you when you don't deserve it, but that's grace. And then focus on serving God to accomplish his mission of saving people. He's going to gather them from the ends of the earth all across to the ends of heaven. So don't you want to have a part in that? that? That when Jesus comes, that you're making a difference for his kingdom by inviting your friends and family to meet Jesus, to come to worship, to, by serving our community, by blessing people in Jesus' name, whether you know them or not. You see, that's what we're trying to do as a church. That's what Calvary is trying to do. We're, we're trying to be ready by the way that we're presenting Jesus to this world. We're teaching the truth, we're loving people, we're, we're serving people, and we're doing it with a smile on our face because we know that in the end we win. Because Jesus is going to come again, and he's going to conclude everything, and everybody's going to know it, 
and he's going to take us home, and we're going to live for all eternity with him. So we want you to be ready. Calvary's trying to be ready as a church. I'm trying to be ready as your pastor, and I'm praying today that you are ready when Jesus comes. God bless, and be prepared. <laughs>